This lesson is from our in-depth iOS core concepts tutorial that has over 30 lessons on how to use your iPhone and iPad. Become an all access member at themacu.com slash details to view all lessons ad free. The spotlight search function built into iOS lets us quickly find information that is stored on our iOS device or information that exists online. The main way to bring up the spotlight search field is to swipe down on any home screen. This brings up the search field and Siri suggestions, which are apps installed on your device that Siri anticipates you might want to open based on your recent activity and location. So let's enter a term. I'll start with a name, Mike B. The top result is my contact, Mike B, that is stored on both these devices. Tap and hold for a variety of ways to contact Mike. Single tap to view his full entry in the Contacts app. Below, we have an option to jump into Safari and do a web search for this term. In the Messages result, we can jump directly into the conversation with Mike B in the Messages app. A result from the Calendar apps displays Mike's birthday, which is also saved in his contact info. Below, we have Image and Podcast results that bring up more well-known people named Mike. From the Search and Apps section, we are able to search for this term in Mail, the App Store, or Maps. We can use Spotlight to do quick calculations or conversions. Tap on the calculation, and we jump into the Calculator app. Here's a quick conversion from US dollars to Mexican pesos. Enter the term Add Alarm in Spotlight Search and we can set the time for that alarm right here, rather than jumping into the clock app. Enter the term weather to view the current conditions for your location. Tap to view the full forecast in the weather app. Add a city name before the word weather to get the current conditions in that location. Spotlight Search works well with current events, sports, and news. If I enter the term Cubs, tap the top result to see recent results and their upcoming schedule. Do a search for the term NFL schedule. And we can scroll through the upcoming games for the entire league without the need to open an app. We can even search live text that's recognized in photos. I'll search for the term Eagle Cap. And here, under Photos, this image with that text and the sign is found, and I can bring it up in the Photos app. Notice that as we use Spotlight, a recent searches list will appear. This lets us quickly repeat a search. Tap Clear to remove this list. In the Search section of the Settings app, we can disable recent searches and related content. Below, we can have Spotlight Search ignore results from specific apps. If results from Amazon are popping up too often in Spotlight Searches, come in here and we can remove the app's content and the app itself from appearing in any Spotlight Search results. Utilizing Spotlight is a great way to quickly find information that's stored on your device, as well as a great way to locate things on the web, app store, and elsewhere.